kids. Hello, hello. Hi. Hey, friends. Welcome. Hi. Hi. You look beautiful tonight. Yes. It's hello. week two of Secret Celebrity Drag Race. Um, I'm ready to talk shit and giggle. Yes. I'm ready to laugh outfits. tonight. Yes. We yes. Have... But let's bring out our special guest tonight, Get ladies started. and gentlemen. Let's let's make some noise and welcome Thorgy Thor. Hey. I know, Sean. I love you. Hi. Ah! I can just. Talk. I can talk to. I was talking to somebody who was passing by in the car. I'm so sorry. Hi. My name is Thorgy. I look gorgeous. Make some noise for me. Ah! Yes, that's yes. Mm, 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 mm. Where um, should I sit? Where should I? Where the middle seat. I think you should lay yeah. down because it's, like over here? it's nice. There's room. Um, Denali will be here shortly. Late. She's running a little late. so. Oh, we were talking shit about Denali She'll out there. That's yes, we're, we're starting with her. Thorgy, welcome back. This is good. Hi. I have to like situate. I have to do this. Yeah. This is good. Do you this like the good. new chairs too? I know. I was going to say last time I was here, I was like, okay. This is like a chair. <laughs> yeah, we, we upgraded. This is this is good. Oh, we got the new chairs thanks to Alyssa and YouTube. If you are watching on YouTube, please hit that bell icon. Subscribe now to get all of our notifications. Oh, this is like a live thing. Like love thing. and subscribe. I, mean, I love Hello. Denali. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're being recorded tonight. Yes, you are. Is that I who I think, think it is? Yes, it is. Oh, make some noise for the stunning, the beautiful, the talented. Silky so Ganache is in the Ganache. house. Yes, yes, yes. Season 10 alum, All-Star 6 alum. Ooh. Lip sync assass. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And actually, I heard it was a year ago today that you smacked all those hoes down in that lip sync Lala Perusa. <laughs> oh, that's like this is the anniversary of a year from yes. when you killed it. <laughs> all right, right. Here we go. Let's get into it. Oh, right. Well, Roscoe's, they just joined us, but give it up for Denali. Hi, everybody. What's the good? What's good, Chicago? Sorry, I'm late. There was a fire on Lakeshore. Per use. And I was also just. I was what also does that late. mean? A fire on Lakeshore? Is Lakeshore a block here in Chicago? <laughs> no, it's the a long street. street. Yeah, yeah. It's up the water. It's the one like right was, by the lake. I'm like laughing. I'm sorry. I'm just a little drunk. Already. Uh, Already. Was there, a, was there actually like a real fire? <laughs> so no. I'm yeah. Still it was like. I mean, when we passed it, there was a guy's bumper like on the opposite side of the road, and then his car on one side. Um, but and to be like, really honest, I was just um, late. Yeah. It was Robbie Turner. <laughs> it was Robbie Turner on Lakeshore. That was their uh, Stop. <laughs> I literally wrote down Robbie Turner. I was going to talk about Robbie later. I love that. How are we feeling tonight, y'all? What's good? Okay. Celebrity Drag Race. Wild, right? I mean, so we got to watch something in between seasons. So <laughs> yeah. this is cute. Did yeah. you watch We're the, the filler first queens. episode? Huh? I don't care. I don't. I, I know, like being period. just queen. I don't give a shit. Same girl. Um. <laughs> did you watch the first episode? Absolutely not. I neither did I. So no. neither did I because I was like, what oh, the no. hell is going on? But I, I didn't know. know. Like Even upstairs, I said, what does uh, Brooklyn Heights and uh, Monet and Judy, what do they do? And they said, girl, you're going to laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, aren't they in it for like two yes, Well, seconds? they made a joke at the beginning. Okay. And by the way, that was kind of funny banter. Yeah, I, it was I'm good right, banter. Mm -hmm. And they look the gorgeous. Oldest, they look yeah, stunning they? in that green. Yeah. Oh, work. Okay. Yeah. It was the oldest queen. They tossed it to RuPaul. RuPaul tossed it to Michelle. I was like, this is actually really good. Oh, cute. But then they were like backstage. So is the whole thing just performance after performance yeah. after yeah. performance? Yeah, as of right now, that's all we know. And then we, everyone's face is like blacked out, blocked out, because we don't know who they are yet. Allegedly. Okay. We yeah. know who some of them are through their voices and their silhouettes. Like, we kind of know who they are anyway. Yeah. yeah. As of right now, we have Kevin McHale from Glee, Daniel Franzese from Mean Girls. Wait, don't give it away if we're not supposed <laughs> to... Uh, we only have... Spoiler three, alert. They literally determined it last week. They were just calling them out. They had a... Oh, oh so they were announced or... No, the audience was able to guess. That's it was said, so easy. It. They were being shady. It was easy. There's like four of them we really can't tell, though. Yeah, okay. Loretta Devine was on here last week, girl. She went home. Who? Loretta Devine. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Wait, did she go... Did, did there, is there elimination? Like, not like all-stars, right? People are getting eliminated yes. now? Yes. And, and Loretta Devine was battle. gone? Correct. Oh, I love her, yeah. though. <laughs> anyway, she, fuck that bitch. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and who, did, who beat her? Um... Ooh, their name was Jackie Wood. We didn't know what celebrity that <laughs> was. Jackie Wood. Jackie I didn't bring Wood. my phone. Who the fuck is You'll Jackie see shortly. Wood. The winner of that week was Poppy Love, who we all were able to determine was AJ from Backstreet Boys. I don't know his last name. Yeah, he's in it. Yeah, I, I said what, too. I was like, wow, the metamorphosis of it all. It's real uh, cute. Very <laughs> that. Well, I mean, it seems interesting. I'm excited to watch. <laughs> it's like a, a combination of the, the, the lip sync singer. battle hosted by LL Cool J and Chrissy Teigen mixed with Mass Singer. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 
fun. So it's a good show. It's not a fire on Lakewood Avenue. <laughs> Lakewood. Lake 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 or whatever. <laughs> Briarwood. Give it up for Lakewood Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do we think about the first performance? Chick Le Fay. Okay, I, I thought so it was amazing. <laughs> Beautiful gowns. So Chick Beautiful Le Fay. Gowns. Oh, and I wrote down uh, a good name for a drag queen. I'm going to write down drag queen names the whole time because I haven't learned all of them yet. Chick Le Fay is cute, but Extra Pickle is even better. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Extra Pickle. I'm going to change my name. That's good. I, did, I was eliminated twice. Maybe I could re enter. <laughs> Rebranding. So your, your first name would be extra? extra pickle. And then I thought of the drag name Jeez Louise. Yeah. I, oh, I there's think a burlesque I know a Jeez performer. Louise. Name. That's somebody's name here, in, Chicago? here in Chicago. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ew. Are they any good? Yeah. Oh, they're yeah. they're, they're an incredible. Award like, winner. Did they burlesque. die in the fire earlier? Oh, God. No. Because I want to oh, change my name to Jeez Louise. It's so good. Yeah. And we're back. Yeah. Yeah. Now, who the hell was that? Those two, um, yeah, I couldn't figure those out last week. We have no idea. Okay. I think the girl is Taylor Dane. Taylor Dane. No. Oh, tell it to my She's heart. Tell it to my heart. Yeah. <laughs> okay. She kind of gives that. She was just ah. on The Masked Singer, so she loves to do shit like this. Oh, yeah? You're right. She's trying to get back in the gig and get some coins. Someone said it might have been a housewife as well. It was giving housewife face. It was giving it was the pal. It was Where nice. she gave me, like, yeah, like a Bethany from... It would have been, yeah, was it Bethany been from good, New York? Would have been good at the production. Yeah, she gives me a little Bethany. One of those girls, mm. <laughs> the Roni girls, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. What I was gonna <laughs> say, what I wrote down like four times and kept crossing out and writing back, and I wanted to ask you, yeah. I, like, and they did this on All Stars too, where they were like, "Oh my God, you're amazing. <laughs> you're so beautiful. You're iconic. Next queen. You're amazing." <laughs> Oh, you, everyone wants to be you. You look so beautiful tonight. I'm like, where were these comments when we were on the show? No, yeah, because I like, got a lot of bullshit comments that really so tore me down and made yeah. me cut myself. No, I'm sorry. I mean, made me really. Yeah, no, sorry. Uh, sorry, dark, but who cares? Move along, move along. But I just thought when I got home, I was like, holy shit, this like really did a number on me. And now I'm watching all these queens and celebrities just get like these wonderful comments. And I said, where were these comments on our season? It's almost like the people that make the show on the regular season, they treat like garbage, you yes. know? <laughs> and then the regular are like, and those, they're like, we don't really know who you are, but you did great, sweetie. Do you want to go back on? Um, wow, look at you coming right in. Hard hitting questions. <laughs> Should you not go back on? <laughs> yeah. I would, I would, yeah, I totally would. I always say, why not? I would, like, why not? You know, why not? Just focus on having more fun, which is what I <laughs> yeah. said for All Stars 3, and then I was like, <laughs> and then you were like, oh, oh that Jesus, was worse. gross. It was worse. <laughs> it was worse. I just need to bring, like, a little pill bag of, like, Zen. It's hard to, when you're there and you tell yourself to have fun, it's very it's hard to just it's have impossible. fun. Especially when they're like sleep depriving you and telling you to like do crazy shit all the time. Whatever, whatever. You Talk know. About your Anyways, dead mom. Celebrity Jaggers, huh? Um, <laughs> there was producers under the table. Talk about your dead mom right now. Right, right, right. <laughs> and I would go, I mean, I'll get to it. <laughs> But it doesn't feel organic. You remember season nine when Valentina was like, does anyone want to talk about my eating disorder? Remember that? <laughs> oh, like, and then every girl had an eating disorder in <laughs> episode? <laughs> right. Don't oh, wait, joke about no, that. Actually, I had one, too. And don't I'm like, jo don't oh, joke right, about that. Oh, right, where is this show going? Drag <laughs> race, trauma bonding. Yes. Uh, so we were writing down lots of drag names. Yes. Oh, uh, so Electra Owl. I was writing Ch Chick-fil-A, Thirsty Von Trapp, and then you said what? Amber what? Amber Gesa. <laughs> Hamburguesa. That's for my, that's for my Spanish speaking Cute. girlies. Hamburguesa. That's smart. La hamburguesa, but her name's Amber, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's mixed. Welcome back. And we're back. All right. This week I was able to find out who that was. Do y'all have a guess or think you know who that is? If you're a lesbian, you should know who that is. A fool. <laughs> A fool. The whole S thing was a fool. I mean, that wasn't her Nobody knows. Artistic that. Nobody direction. knows. Speak on I it. I didn't Anyone? know either, and I leaned over and I said, it's Miley Cyrus's younger sister. <gasps> Is <gasps> I was it? Like, no, it's not. Oh. Well, in the middle of it. Stop so, it. So I'm thinking that and you went, um, no. <laughs> Jenna Oskowitz from Glee, um, Tina Chang. Wait, if really? I remember her. Yeah. Okay, we can't have oh, two no, Glees no, no. up in this bitch. I don't think so. Denali, I don't think that that's What did you right. say? I think that that's Haley Kiyoko. She was referenced last I think week as well. That's Haley Kiyoko. No, I just, am I wrong? What is I that? I feel like uh, that's like you don't know who that is. She's a singer. Yeah, just yeah. like a gay. Singer. La 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 la. 
Okay, so very the, whole good cha- the whole challenge this week is to dance, is it not? Yes. Okay, so I did not oh, see much dancing in that. That one, Missing, not so much. Oh, Thank you so much. Saying. She was moving around. They had her as a full prop, and she was like, just move me here, move me there, and then let the gays just kiss on the mm-hmm. TV for that long. Like, <laughs> well, that's why you were like, where was yeah, the where, serve? Yeah, where? where was the serve? Oh, I kind of loved it. Also, when she went down and up and the, the pop, I was like, she's giving that to me. Okay. No. <laughs> Do you want to have a knife fight in the no, alley? No, 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 no. I live in Chicago. I'll get you, girl. Um, so, <laughs> uh, Betty stays ready. You've been in I set the fire earlier. So, what was happening? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, with the dancing challenges, I feel like if you can't dance, you're gonna fall behind like the Thirsty Von Trapp did. And because she's from Glee, I'm like, she's gonna excel at this. Okay. Yeah. Fair. Just... Thoughts? How did you feel? How, how would you do in a dancing challenge? I didn't know who it was. I can dance. Okay. I can kick and I can dance. Stretch. I like the dancing challenges. Okay. Yeah, I actually, uh, every single time we've had a dancing challenge was on the show, both yes. seasons. Yes. We, we did this and I never took fucking credit for it, but I always gave everyone their best things and then I let them take credit for it. Well, that's nice of you. I was going to say something, but then it seemed inappropriate. Should I say it anyway? Um, no, 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 it's fine. <laughs> But I also really like dancing. And you're probably a beautiful dancer. Oh, she I like is. to dance. Yeah. I like to dance a little bit. Yeah. 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 On That's ice and on, on ice, land. On land. Are you a dancer too? Yeah. Oh, she's a, a little eight count. Oh, yeah. Me. One, two, step. Oh, yeah. You know. We should go upstairs before the show later and we should do like a. Maybe count we'll of, do a group number tonight. Like a count together. of 16 turn or something. Yeah. Get on up, turn me I think we can throw up together really quickly. <laughs> we can do it. Yeah. Lady Marmalade? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Okay, Caramel, what was this girl's name again that just left? Or that just, what was it? There's the drag name? Yeah. Melanie Von Sunshine. <laughs> Miss Millie Von Sunshine. Miss Millie Von Sunshine. Melanie Von Sunshine. Millie. Okay. Millie. Millie. Like vanilla. Millie Vanilli. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> Thorgy, when you first started doing drag, was your name Thorgy Thor? It wasn't. What was it? The first drag name I ever had was Miss Mole. And... I actually, because I was experimenting a lot with the prosthetic makeup, so I had a lot of glue, like, uh, glue shit. So I went, oh my God, what if we just, like, started this character where I had this giant thing of latex, and I started putting hair out of it, and I was like, my drag name is going to be Miss Mole, and I will be known for that queen who has hairy moles. The mole queen. (laughs) Sticking out of her face, and I was like, that's not too good. And then, the, that's not too good. That lasted like a couple of weeks when I was first trying it out. And then I said, uh, a friend of mine who was a director of a show, Psycho Beach Party, I don't know if you guys know this, I was Marvel Ann, which was like the beach slut. And I, that was the first time I really did drag was Marvel Ann and Beach and the Psycho Beach Party. And he, the director goes, your name is Shane Galligan. And he played with it for a little while. And he goes, how about a sh- sh- shenanigans? And looking back, I probably should have kept the drag name Shenanigans because that's basically what I'm about. <laughs> I'm just ridiculous. <laughs> I am always like, who can we fucking first, piss off today? First name Shen or first name Shenanny? Sh- shenanigans is Shenan- one word. One shenanigans. Name, one name, okay. Shenanigans. 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 But then I, I like that my middle name is actually Thor and my last name starts with a G, Thor G. So we, we landed on that. And then I didn't realize that I can't sign up for several websites because the word orgy is in my name. And I think it's inappropriate. Club Penguin. And we're back. back. And we're back. Okay. Okay, am I crazy or... Yes. I forgot her name. I am crazy. Jackie Jackie Wood. Wood. Jackie Wood. I thought it was John Early. Does anybody know who John Early is? Thank you. I thought it was John Early at first, and then the voice kind of threw me. Thank you for being the only person who knows who John Early is. Amazing actor, good friend of mine, New York City comedian legend. I thought he was on there. That would have been amazing. He, and you said, As a I don't know who he is, but he has great hair. Yeah, it's giving John Rose. John has great fucking hair and very cute, very smart, very lovely. Anyway, I don't think it's John Early. And now I for- <laughs> <laughs> And I forgot what I was going to say at the end of that, but that's what I wanted to say. She looked gorgeous. I like the makeup. The hair was stunned. I had something Rose, that's what all it gave me. Yeah, she gives yeah. full Rose fish. Full <laughs> boot. <laughs> We said the, that last week. The shoulders, the brow, the chin. All she <laughs> misses is that one. The the... Shade. Oh my God. <laughs> she just missed that little rose. So Ava. beauty and glamour. L O L, but T, but T. I just thought the, the head singer of Twisted Sister, we're not going to take yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. No. Who's that? I'm dating myself and I don't give a shit. <laughs> I think. 
I don't know who was. I have no idea. She had nice hair. Yeah. <laughs> who? <laughs> oh, that's what I heard. Okay, yeah. Is it okay? Uh, I think they were the old queer eye or the new queer eye. The old queer eye. Okay, I remember. I was in school when that was happening. It was like the fuck is that? The OG or the new one? OG. The irrelevant one. Okay, Uh, we missed one. Denali and I were talking about it. Oh yeah, the little twink. Who was the the little twink? Remember the little like skinny twink with like. The hair, the big hair, and the who got off on the day. <laughs> no, she was gorgeous. She yeah, had like really like talk talk much horizontal her. crease. No. And, oh no, we did you know. talk about Von Chun Chun. Did we? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I we thought did. it was David Archuleta. That's what I thought it was. That's what I said last week. But it's that's not. what I said. We would have clocked the voice. I heard Adam Rippon out there, but no, um, that's not Adam Rippon. No, no, no. I don't know. It was just know. a twink. She's family, but yeah, you can't tell who it is. Yet. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. She was like, mm, this hair is giving, like, mm, <laughs> it's giving very, like, and I was what? like, oh. You're like, okay. <laughs> I was like, this is a cigarette right here. Oh, my Abuela? God. <laughs> Hamburguesa? It was an Ambergesa. Ambergesa from no, the House no, no, no. of Lechuga. From the House of Lechuga. <laughs> I live. <laughs> no, I don't know who that was, though. Just a twin. <laughs> that just hey, tackled we'll me when we'll we, we said that earlier. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but no, this, this, this queen here, I'm not sure who she was. She was probably the queer eye one. I think she played right. it up well, not being able to dance, like given to the yeah. the classical. Things if you can't that dance, knows. just do like a bunch of like touch your genitals, and RuPaul will fucking yep. like go oh, off. My. RuPaul will be like, oh, I love masturbation. <laughs> it's true. Okay, it's true. Speaking of RuPaul going <laughs> off, was there a moment on either of your seasons where y'all just sent RuPaul through nice the roof? Nice transition. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> they are Wait. not here to talk about their time on Drag Race. <laughs> Remember, it's traumatic. <laughs> but on my time on Drag Race... Here she goes. Um, yes, I would love anything you give me. Was so oh, it Maker's Mark? I don't think she needs that. Who ordered this? Can I we don't get a think mu- she ah! needs that. She's looking She's out for you. She's been sitting here for two hours and you have not said hi. I hope you know she has about four more hours of work. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Just remember, it's her fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, were there any times in our season when Woo! RuPaul made us like, um, The you. only time RuPaul really, really gagged at me was at the lip sync and when she was like, oh, okay, I see you and I like you. Yeah. As to when she was like, we're back, we're, oh, we're, we're, back, back, we're, we're back, back, we're back, we're back. back. All right, so let's Perfect. talk about... let's talk some shit. Let's talk, yeah, let's talk about the first one that we just saw. What was their name again? Chakra 7. Chakra. So last week she came out and she didn't really do much. Um, how do we feel compared oh to this week? Uh, Whitney Houston, that's a good song. I feel like that should be in everyone's arsenal as a drag entertainer. It's a, like the classic brunch song, the classic get the crowd pump song. Um, she, Boom. it was like 85% for me. It was okay. I liked it. I, I just wrote down, concept. I want to date Jamal Sims. Period. <laughs> Agreed. I actually want to have sex with Jamal Sims and marry him. He's so but sweet. But then I looked at you and you said most of the queens... That I am mad. Yeah, anytime we ask a queen about Jamal, they always say how attractive he is and they all want to have sex with but him as well. But he actually looked at me specifically. I saw it. No, it's serious. You saw it on the show. Season eight, right? Yeah. Season, no, it was All Star 3 All when Stars I got 3. eliminated second episode. <laughs> and um, You're on ensemble that season, yeah, yeah. But he looked at me and he goes, no, that was actually Todrick, which uh, let's not talk about that. You're right, it was season eight. And me and Jamal just had a moment and that's what I wrote down. But let's get back to what we're talking about. <laughs> Allegedly. I thought um, it was good. I liked her. I thought it was a good performance. Uh, who did y'all think Chakra 7 was? We had a guest from last week, no but I want to hear what y'all say. I have truly no clue. I thought it was Tiny Miracle. I thought it was Phaedra. I think it's Phaedra Park still. <laughs> Wait, that's when I looked at Right? For uh, Joe Biden. Yes. Okay. So what was the black comedian girl who performed for Joe Biden at the, like, inaugural... Something, inaugural. right? Inaugural. Thank you. Or, sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know. Right? Thank you. Thank you for being the one person in this fucking... <laughs> there can be 99 people in a room. Yeah, Steph is going to know. And you were my sure. one. But Who you did go- you say, Steph? And I watched it, and by the way, her voice... Oh, okay. Last week, they said... Amanda what? <laughs> yeah. Did you mean the poet? It was Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> no, she perfor- hey. It she- was Angela. <laughs> I don't have my fucking. 
The okay. judges, the well, judges thought it was Olivia Lux. The guests from last week they said um, was Tatiana Ali, Ashley from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, that's to it. Vanessa from the Cosby Show. Vanessa that's a good one. Vanessa from the Cosby Show. By the way, in case nobody knows who we're talking to because we're recording live, yes. it is the one and only Silky. Silky uh, not bad, Ganache, Doctor Reverend. Yes, but I like Vanessa. Uh, from the Cosby Show, that was a good guess. Uh, I still okay. think it's the comedian that performed for Joe Biden, but it was not a comedian. They were the, a poetry, a poet. <laughs> oh, okay. There was, there was reading. Did they, did they sing or did they read? I love Chakra, but Denali said she had some tea about the next contestant, Donna Bellissima. Oh, I heard yes. that. What, just... what do you know? Please spill. <laughs> I mean, everyone probably knows who that is. Yes, yes, right? yes. yes. Okay. That was the easiest one know. next to Loretta. They did one thing in 2005 and really. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I'm just kidding. 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 No, he's like uh, such a sweetheart. Wow. Um, no, but uh, yeah, I just I worked with Juju B recently, and she said that he was very competitive. Name and drop. We're back. And with that <laughs> name drop, we are now back. Yeah, that was good. That was good. I yes. Everyone already know who he is. Mm-hmm. I, can we go back? I don't. Can we go back and talk about the other one before? Because I just wanted yeah. to say something about her running around the stage with her potato sack feet <laughs> with no shoes on. <laughs> for Donna Belisa. For no reason for her to step over that thing. Oh, yeah. I just realized Rue like, eliminated. She literally was like, Rue eliminated in her potatoes. two girls on season 14 for kicking their shoes off immediately. But praised it. If you're a celebrity, I guess you get to no. stay. Yes. I guess so. <laughs> this is the first time RuPaul's Drag Race ever set up a girl. <laughs> first time ever. Sorry, I thought it was going to be funnier, and it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't we'll funny. No, because it's fucking I'm, true. I still cry myself. To, I drink a lot. I drink a lot. Oh, my God. Cheers. We're, we're celebrating drag tonight, and this is oh, wonderful. Yeah. This was, yes, celebrities and drag. Celebrities mm-hmm. and drag and such a oh, thing. Oh, yes. Um. Mm-hmm. There wasn't really much tea, though, about, about that. She was person. just really competitive. She was just really competitive and has definitely done much more since what's her thing. But, like, as very, as very sweet as well in person, it was just a little subtle shade. But, like, literally, it was apparently like, I'm gung-ho about winning. It was just, like, very into it. But, uh, but no, this last one was so good. This was, what, Miss Acosta Davis and Katya's daughter? <laughs> Oh. Am I wrong, Honestly, though? Honestly, giving that. Am I it really giving was. that, right? You play too much. No, she was sickening. She was sickening. Poppy I also love. relate to, like, throwing your head back really aggressively and being nervous about, like, your weight coming off. So, yeah. look at Wow. Really? That was the only thing that she was nervous about. And I think she killed the performance. Yeah? She did. Yeah. Uh, that was good. Does anyone have guesses who's, who could be? Um, AJ That's McClain. the Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. The Backstreet Boys. That checks The dancing, out. the like, two oh, daughters. danced a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was really good. He I'll gave it away, there. though, right away. He wore his, like, signature um, little brim hat in the oh. first episode, so. I yeah, the tattoos. The, ta- the tattoos. Okay, so we knew. We knew. Yeah, we been new. Yeah, he was really good. So good. I, I loved, like, at the end, like, him standing there with, like, his titties out, and he's like, yeah, I'm doing this for my two daughters. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to have a lot of questions. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to jump back because we asked Dorji about um, her first drag name. Denali, have you huh? always been Denali? Um, no. Well, officially, yes, but I did have some ideas. Because I was an ice skater, I wanted to play on the pun of Tanya Hardon. <laughs> ah. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not, like, I'm not a comedy queen. You can always change it. I could, but that's just corny. So I was like, no. But I also thought Christy Yamakuchi would have been funny. <laughs> Yes. No. That's it. Those weren't real. That's a lot to write on a check. My, uh, like, I, I, yeah, exactly. I was one of those people that would look at everything because I really wanted to start drag, and I was like, that'd be a cool name, and it would be like, doorstop or something, you know? I'd be like, oh, yeah. I'd be like, oh, yeah. You know, I don't know, some bullshit like that. Doorstop, the queen. Yeah. Did you see that post on Twitter that's like, oh, like, boomer drag queens, millennial drag queens, Gen Z drag queens, and how they're named? It's really, really funny. No, I did I'll it. try and find it. It's always like, boomer drag queens, and it's like, you know, uh, Jessica Von Love the Third, or whatever. And then it's like, millennial drag queens are all just like one name. So we're like, Jelly Bean, or Thorgy. something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Gen Z, I don't know what it was. I don't remember it, but it's very funny. Go look for it. Party. <laughs> Well, what, anything else? <laughs> you were going on. That tequila got I'm you, like girl. I'm sitting here being like, I love Denali right now. Oh, I'm just a little junk. <laughs> I haven't really had a smoothie today, so. 
so you just got off of tour, yes? Yes, I did. Uh-huh. We're on the catwalk. On the catwalk. How was um, it? Get so fun. So did you get fun. your check? Just yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. I got the check. Just make sure. Um, it's super fun. It was super fun. Just living in a tour bus with like nine drag queens is like really difficult. Who was you the c- worst? <laughs> Go say it quick. Don't think about it. No, Go. they were all so lovely to work okay, with. Okay, not worse. Who took up the most space? On the, the bus? Who took up the most space? Yes. Crystal Method. Her her drag is just like large. She just like brings in like DreamWorks character performances. You know, she's like, oh yeah, it's just Winnie the Pooh like in the bus. And I'm like, dude, we have to make room for all of Brooklyn Heights's Versace. So <laughs> oh, that's number two. That's number two. <laughs> no, but it was so much fun. It's just difficult like being on a bus and not being able to poop and like stuff like that. You know? No, I'm serious. You can't, you can't. If you ever go on is, tour, don't poop while you here. cannot poop on a tour bus. It's okay? a big rule. It's a big rule. Yeah. Lady Bunny broke it every <gasps> time. Of course, girl. It's just really embarrassing because you have to like shut the bus down, do a whole thing, and then like we have to do an investigation, and everyone. What knows, are you investigating? And, what are you checking? Everybody knows that you defecated on the bus, and it's just like, damn. Oh, that was me. I pooped. We all... T- it I happens, didn't do it, bitch. Yeah, like, if I gotta go, I gotta go. I'm no, sorry. You remember that song? Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now? That's how it, it happens. Wow, I don't know that song. You either go pull over at the Circle K and we're back. Bad. Shit, I had a story about decide, Sarah Moe shitting on the bus. But oh, wait, shit. Let's what? Let's go back. Me. That was a quick commercial, but all right. God. Can we just have a top two? Because I think there's too many that might be in the bottom. Who are your bottom? Owl. Who? Owl is going home tonight. Oh, oh my God. Tell us how you really feel. I just, I'm not featuring it. I'm sorry. She's not, um, you know, watching some of these these celebrities on there, they are fully engaged in it. They are, like you can tell. Um, I have a feeling she's a singer, and if she's a, sh- a singer, shame on her, because she should know better than this. Uh, she can't perform. She can't perform She's then, bad, and we don't like Which her makes sense all. why she's on the show. So I think I was going home tonight. As well, or also in the bottom for me, Jackie Wood, workout. Who are these people? <laughs> oh, I'm wondering Jackie too. Wood. Uh, the, the one that looks like Rosé. That one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys are uh, ripping her uh, apart. Uh, I love it. <laughs> I love Rosé, I do. <laughs> so we think it's between those two? Yeah. Who do y'all think? I think they're setting up Thirsty. They're setting up Thirsty. Okay, you see the edit. Okay, to be work. a winner? She's with the producer eyes over Or here. bottom two for Thirsty, Thirsty's but then the sending oh. somebody home and sticking around. Is she the one that looks like Crystal Versace? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, she no, I think good. she'll be fine. Yeah, she, she worked pretty. that big-ass hair. Um, yeah. They put potato feet in the bottom tonight. Nah, I, they're going <laughs> to... The, the, the personality and camp she, element saved them. Um, she, the potato. I hate to cut this short, but Thorgy said something about pheromone shitting on the bus, and I want to hear that. I just... Oh, my God! I just wanted to hear that. Can I tell you a story really quick? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is a short commercial, by the way. <laughs> also, nothing's quick with me. Is that uh, why you said, uh, oh, my God? No, no, no. You're wasting time. <laughs> no. Two Coming minutes up. We're ready. Seconds. We're waiting for you. I don't know what's happening. Where Go, were tell, you? Tell it fast. Go. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, anyway, so one time, I forgot what month it was. It was probably... Um, October. Anyway, we were on the tour with uh, Pheromone, and Pheromone and me could not be more different in drag. So I've never met or worked with Pheromone before, and she was just like, oh, my God, like, hey, bitch, like, hey, girl. And I'm like, oh, my God, like, we're going to have to get to know each other, right? But on the bus, we couldn't shit. So it was, like, in motion, and in the middle of the night, I woke up because I started shaking and I needed a drink. So... (laughs) So I met up with Raja. <laughs> that should have gotten a better girl laugh. Anyway, uh, but uh, yeah, so I met up. I, this is not a joke. I actually was like, I just need some champagne. But I got to go get it. And Pheromone was like, girl, oh my God, girl. I have to fucking shit. <laughs> and she said it just like that. Oh my God. <laughs> and I'm like, you are an insane person. She's insane. Anyway, get out of my way. Where is the vodka? You know, like I actually need this for the story. So she goes, I have to shit, but they won't pull over the bus. So, and we couldn't shit in the bus, which I actually loved her about this. She didn't shit in the bus. So she goes, you know what I did? Why am I telling this story? Because you're a Keep monster. Going. You're Keep a monster. Going. Now, That's why. Now I want like this show to come. No, keep going. So what did she shit in? 
So she goes, oh, girl, ooh, she was ooh, like this. So she goes, you know what I did? And I went, I don't know what you did, but I think you're about to tell me, and I also need another shot of vodka for this story. Boom. And she goes, I put a plastic bag in the toilet. <laughs> and we're back! <laughs> All right, Electra Owl. Went home and was revealed as Batty Had It Correct, Taylor Dane. Taylor yes, Dane. Yes, yes. If you're not familiar, she sings um, Been Around the World tell and I, 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 and Tell Which, It To My Heart. Which, by the way, last time I was here performing at Roscoe's, I did tell it to my heart. You did? You did the Don't Let Me Go and you held someone right here. <laughs> I was probably it you? was like, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. And now I'm like, fuck, I should have done it tonight. I didn't know. Maybe I'll do it again. I don't give a shit. And then now. But anyway, I did it. it and by the way, uh, somebody filmed it from the audience. Right here. And uh, yeah. what? You handed me what? There it is. But, but I posted it, and Taylor uh, actually commented Wine. on it, and I texted her many times back Wine. and forth. And uh, I texted Taylor Day? I did. You have her number? No, like... DM'd. I just ima- I imagined that I knew her number. Oh, see, Thorgy, you were... Do you remember oh, when... Oh, <laughs> drag queens. Thorgy, when the internet started, what did it sound like? So me and Taylor. Taylor! Oh my god! Ta- oh, she just ran away really quickly. Uh, oh no, she had to go. She told me that earlier that she was just going to wait to joke me about and her music career. And she did that, so that happened. And then Poppy Love won for the second week in a row, so they're not going to win throughout the rest of the season and become a finalist. I just feel it. That's how they're going to. I mean, why, why the mouth drop? Wow! You say, you <laughs> Next week's say money. That. Wow! You better um, say that. It was entertaining. Do we think it was? Do we think it's entertaining? I think it's funny. I think you're very entertaining. I mean, I love watching people run around with potato <laughs> feet, bitch. Sylvie <laughs> said, "Man, just a key for <laughs> me." Don't talk about Caramel Deville like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, um, no, no, no. Yeah, it was. I'm feeling very happy, very entertained. The judges were judging, judging. <laughs> but I'm were they? <laughs> Did anyone get that reference? Mariah? No? Okay, well, never mind. Yeah, it was fun. All right. Um, we're going to take some time to answer some of your questions in the audience if you have any questions for these ladies. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you got questions. So think of those. Don't forget to stick around at 1030. We will have performances from Denali and Thorgy, joined by Batty and myself. Yes, yes, yes. That's true. Ah, and yeah. also make some noise for Thorgy's wine glass from the pit stop. Our third special guest tonight. That was a fun episode. <laughs> Large and in charge. Did you guys watch the pit stop with me and Bob at the end of the season? Did everyone here at Roscoe's also believe that Jinx was like a good winner? Yeah. Wow. Silence. Questions. Wow. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, wow. I'm a big Bob and Monet stan. Sorry. Um, and I think. Sorry for what? You don't like Bob, right? I hate that bitch. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no. I. Uh, what? No, um, I was rooting for Monet. I'm so proud of Jinx. She had a wonderful package. Not taken away from her win. I want a Monet to win, though. She does have a great package. <laughs> oh. Were you the one? <laughs> oh, were you the one? Did that you been nervous? <laughs> no, she's talking about Jinx. No, because Monet slept with them. Also, I... Fuck, I've been drinking. Should I say it anyway? Yeah, you already, you already told us that pheromone uh, shit in a bag on okay, a bus. Okay, is this being filmed? Should I be bad? Even Always. better. Yes. I have a really big secret about Jinx that she told me on tour one night when she was really drunk. Drink. Did she shit in a bus too? And that is that I'm not going to say it because as I was saying it, I realized I shouldn't say it. So you know oh. what? No, because she's my sister. She's my sister! <laughs> and I love her. And people can quit the show and I'm replacing it. By the way, this is our announcement. I'm moving to Chicago. I'm taking over the yes! show. Yes! Thank you so much. Awesome. We have an opening on Tuesday for you. Yes. Storgy will be your guest host every fifth Harvest Moon here at Roscoe's Tavern. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, my God. I have so many secrets to tell. And I'm just, I can't do it while we're filming. I can't do it. I can't do it. But Theramone did throw out a bag of shit out the window (laughs) of our bus. So that's But it was the way she told me in the middle of the night where she goes, Thorge. And I went... (laughs) I went like this. What? <laughs> your wine was already ready it's in your exactly bunk. Exactly how it happened. Because I remember, remember this, no. Thorgy. Remember this. This is going to be good on the mic at Chicago later. That's what she said. Okay. And she, that's what I said to myself. And she goes, <laughs> I fucking shit in the bag. 
just like I'm not mm. lying. You know I'm not making this. I was like, remember everything that's happening. I, I think I'm shutting it back. <laughs> and then I took that back. <laughs> and I opened the window. <laughs> and I fucking threw that shit out of the window. I love Pharaoh. And I went, you threw your shit in a bag out the window in the middle of a highway, girl. Can you imagine the bitch next to her riding by like, yeah, making my way downtown. <laughs> what the fuck? Has anyone seen and rat And then race? the window. That's like rat race. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ferris That's muddy shit all over so the windows. Funny. All right, on Let's that move note, into something a little more appropriate. Let's get this roast to cook in. Who oh has questions? <laughs> right over here. What's your name, Diva? Hi, I'm Chin Wei. Chin Wei, hi. Love that name. Who's your question for? Uh, my question. Oh, okay. Hi, hi, Queens. Um, my question's for Denali. Hi, darling. Hi. <laughs> Where are you um, from? England, but I live in New Zealand. Oh my god, amazing. Where in England? London. Oh, I love London. It's like okay. grand. Greg's. Have you ever had Greg's? A yeah, sausage roll yeah. from Greg's? It's not as cheap as it used to be. Really? Yeah, it used to be really Everyone, cheap. Everyone, if you go to England, have a sausage roll. They're so fucking good. Okay, what's your yeah. question? Um, I had questions for you. <laughs> my question is about when you uh, produce or put together the video for um, Pure Love. Oh. Oh. With all the Chicago oh. performers, I've, I've watched it about a hundred times at work, oh, um, and I just wanted to know, like, how hard was it to do, and were there any performers that were particularly hard to get hold of? Oh, girl, yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It was um, extremely hard to do because it was the peak of the pandemic. And when I came home, I was like, okay, yeah, I know that this lip sync happens, but I just want to celebrate Chicago drag because we've been all inside for like a year and nobody has heard Lucy Stuhl's laugh for like, you know, a whole year and this needs to happen. So uh, we made that video and we divided everyone into groups of like four or five. There were no more than like 10 people in this like really large space at one time. And oh, look at that. That's it it up here. And I wish if I could have had every fucking Chicago drag queen in this and King, I would have. But like it was so hard with with the pandemic. And so this we had was to, like, so fucking cool. Thank you. It was really fun. It was really fun to make. And it was just nice to celebrate Chicago drag and like. Like I said here, Lucy's draft. Um, you know, I wanted Shay in it, and she wasn't feeling well day of. I wanted Mimi Marks in it, and just the legends of Chicago drag, but, like, it was really hard because we needed vaccinations, and we needed yeah. testing, and we needed Things everything. Things were up in the air. Monica yeah. Beverly Hills, like, everybody. I just wanted a part of it, but it was really difficult to organize, so... We did our best, and you know it's still a really good product. But like I said, if I could have had everybody in it, I totally would have. And every few years, Chicago has like some cool videos. You know, we have like um, the Kamor Hall. Oh, Everyone give it up for Chicago's Mackie yes, Hall. Um, Hall. She's still painting her mug for the finale. She's still painting yeah. her mug for the finale. <laughs> 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 Bitch, I don't care. <laughs> that was a good comment. Sorry. <laughs> Very funny. Love you, bitch. Kimora is an icon and she's doing amazing things. She was eliminated on an acting challenge and is going to be in Hocus Pocus too. So yeah, yeah. So she's, she's doing well. She's an icon. She's amazing and she's been winning in life. I'm proud of her. Um, but yeah, I love that video and it's one of my favorite things to look back whenever I feel sad. Oh, now, Chloe Goulet. You should be so proud, Shinway. That was a lovely question. The amount of pride this city felt when that came out, it Aww. was just like it was so phenomenal. You were like the first queen to like give a platform on a video to all of the people in your community. So props to Denali for that, Diva. Like, help the community that bring her up. Love you, Girl, Diva. Girl, I wouldn't get on Drag Race if it wasn't for this community. So She's I right. Be back. Period. Hey. Thank you. I love that question. Do we have any other questions in the house? We just had one question, really? You guys are wow. really fun tonight. You must know everything about Thorgy Thor. <laughs> Everything. So pheromone took that back. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> she th swung it around her head, Wing. and she goes, <laughs> she goes, mm. then she goes, I threw that motherfucker out of that wind. <laughs> and she she's hit my favorite person of all time. I could tell this story all day, every day. Well, it I've will never be told the on loop on she's TikTok. She's not the first person that's done that. I've heard other stories of another queen that has done that. It probably is. I happened. don't know who it is, but I heard There's been weird things that I've done in the middle of the night where I'm like, I can't sleep anymore. Like, yeah. oh my God. Tour buses are not the tea. Anyway, next question. <laughs> okay. Um, Thorgy, 
So, <laughs> yeah. Will you ever forgive? Okay, sorry. Um, will you ever forgive Robbie Turner for calling you Thorgy on <laughs> the first episode? I get called eight? Thorgy every day, all day, all the time. But what did Tur- Robbie Turner call me Thorgy when? On the first episode. Who cares? I don't. <laughs> I don't give a shit, but you know what? I did forgive her because she. I got the Uber the other day. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> her legacy. And it flipped over like four times. I almost died. And then I realized my driver was dead. <laughs> so I called the inquirer and I reported it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got another question here. For the you. number one, no, hold on. The okay. number one <laughs> most important thing that I've ever said in my entire drag career and life as an artist and a Gemini garbage person was that when Robbie Turner was accused of being this like pathological liar, she is! <laughs> my favorite thing about her was that. I always sat with her and I said, what's new? And she go, you never would guess. <laughs> Gypsies flew into, I'm like, here we <laughs> go, yes. But uh, Robbie Turner is a sick person. I'm, she's doing really well. But after that, after that whole Uber debacle, I said Robbie Turner should show up to DragCon and get a car in her booth. <laughs> Drive it. <laughs> and your photo is a photo in the rearview mirror driving an Uber. I rode in an Uber with Robbie Turner. I would have left my fucking booth for hours to wait <laughs> online for that. Would you guys have waited online for that? Yeah. Online or in line? I would yes. have died for that. <laughs> Same. Anyway. That's good. I love that. I hope she's doing really well. Yeah, five stars. All right, we have another question over here. You are very funny. I'm not. I'm really not. She is. Sexy, funny, and very cool. Keep it up with this cunt over here. (laughs) Wasn't Willow called Pillow Will on Swell? Wasn't she called Pillow Will? Like, oh, what's her name? Alyssa Hunter. Alyssa Hunter called her that, right? Pillow Will. I love that. Anyways, continue, continue. Are you ready? Are you ready, Thorchi? Okay, this is, here we go. Um, hi, uh, I have a question for Thorgy. Uh, <laughs> how's your ghost going on? Like, your ghost in your apartment. <laughs> is it still there? Oh, shit! Do you guys know this? So I have a ghost in my apartment. I live in a haunted apartment, which, by the way, if you look it up on the internet or whatever, I probably should just post my address. It is actually a haunted building that's been haunted for... Uh, many years but I get my uh, feet pulled in the middle of the night yeah where I wake up and I go oh somebody just pulled my feet like where are they I see objects I see things and I it's not just because I drink a lot no it's probably partly because I drink a lot you need some water bitch. but then when I don't drink and I only drink water plus a lot of vodka but I drink the water and then people still pull my feet but there is a lot of ghosts in my apartment and my neighbors, I reached out to them. We're friends. We're ho- part of a whole like text message group. And hey, I said, hey, you guys get stuff. pulled too in the middle of the night. And they're like, yes, bitch. My apartment building is haunted. I never want to move out. Now, I talked to Bob because do you guys love the content that me and Bob do together? Yes. So do I because I love Bob. Bob has been my best drag friend, my oldest drag friend for maybe 20 years now. And I said, would you do a ghost hunting show with me? Because somebody reached out to me and actually said, we loved your, your stupid videos, which is probably why you like, just asked that stupid question. Mm-hmm. But it's not stupid. It's my fucking life. <laughs> this is what I live with. I wake up every night like, oh, Robbie Turner's in my bedroom. You know? But I would love to do this show. And I thought, who else better than to do it with Bob? Would you guys watch a show with me and Bob the Drag yeah. Queen? Ghost hunting shows. The whole time she'd be like, "This is wild." <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, they wild. touched me. <laughs> All right, Silky's got a question for y'all. Hi, my name is Regine Bouvier. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and 
this question goes to Roscoe's. I'm on episode five or six. Can I get a booking? (laughs) (laughs) Chan. 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 Do you really have a question for the girls? That was was a question. Silky is going to be making an appearance later in this season, episode five or six. This is how you get your booking, bitch. Speak on it. You got to speak it into existence. Closed mouths. Don't get fed. Closed mouths. And I come here all the time. I never pay for a drink, but I come here all the time. <laughs> they just try to get that. He's new. He tried to give me a, a, a ticket. And I said, send that over to Sean. I'm an employee. <laughs> <laughs> but wonderful seeing you both. I've never worked for you, with both of you bitches before in a show. Do you want to work for me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, um, uh, no, ma'am. <laughs> I don't think you can afford me, but you I'm a, <laughs> not, I'm a nightmare. I am you actually are, a nightmare. Oh, how much you paying? What? How much are you paying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds work. <clears throat> See, that's how you talk when you drunk. This is how I talk when <laughs> I'm drunk. So how much are you right paying? Right to the point. Right to the point. Y- yes, ma'am. Oh, she, she ain't got no money, so okay. And Denali, lovely seeing you. I hope those braids don't take over your eyebrows. Lovely. Yeah. Girl, they look like little snakes from here just going on. Little oh, sneaky snakes. Little sneaky licker. Little sneaky. Oh, I got another dry. question. You bitches been taking shots all night. Now, I know I'm not paid to be here, but I still want to take a shot with you bitches. I'll take a shot with Silky. Uh, thank you. Can we get a shot for Silky Can and water sh- for Thorgy, please? Yes, you know I drink... I drink Vegas bomb. You know what I drink? Vodka water, Thorgy. The vodka was silent. And I also (laughs) want to say one more thing. You guys look great now that I'm drunk. When I first got here, I was a little (laughs) questionable. I'm just kidding. Banter, bitch. We love you, Miss Sal. I love you guys. You you two whores, too. And I can't wait to be in a show with you girls. We love you, girly. And you too, bitch. We supposed to be on a scooter. I'm here to Thursday. Let's get on a scooter. <laughs> Let's scoot. I'm going to get on drag. I'm going to paint up just to get on that Silky, scooter. Silky, do you want to come to New York? Huh? You want to come to New York? You got some money in New York? Yeah. Girl, the last the way, time I went to thing. New York. Uh, this is not me blowing smoke up anybody's ass. This is just what I do, and this is what I talk about all the time. Uh-huh. If we were upstairs, I would say the same goddamn thing. Let me tell you something. Girl. I've been working in New York for 20 years. I, I know every promoter, I every club tell. owner, every queen. Really? Do you, want, do you want to come to New York? I for want a to week? work in New York. Let me tell you why. The last time I was in New York, I was there with Honey Davenport, and we did a show for season 11. I like did the something. But bitch, the last time I was there, I ended up at that club called the Conk. Well, the cock, you walked in and it smells like balls. And, and, and um, poppers, yes. And then you can either go, ooh, or ooh. Uh, yeah, but I sat on a church bench the whole time. I sat on a bench like this. As I saw people, you know, like church ladies, that's why I like Beyonce's church girl. You I sat, sat there on a bitch? On the bench in the front, and I watched somebody. Oh, I thought you sat here. on a bitch. No, I didn't sit on you when I was there. But I sat on a bench. <laughs> Nobody caught that fuck you, bitch. But I sat on a bench. Shut the hell up, bitch. I sat on a bench and I watched somebody get blowed off here. Shut up, then bitch. Then I watched somebody pay like $5 to the dancer and then get sucked off there. And I was there like, oh my God. Nobody's offering me like. Wait, you went to the cock and wanted to get sucked off? No, I was in full face. I couldn't. It doesn't matter. Uh, when you go to the <laughs> cock, no, not make uh, the cock is this party. whole other party. Roscoe's, please remember to spay and neuter your drag queens for every Roscoe's viewing party. Are we Thank still you so filming much. this, by the way? Oh, bitch! Wait, y'all so filming anyway, this shit? Yes, you're I want to give a me. shout out Why to all my feminists? fellow friends and uh, bartenders at the Cock in New York City. I had By a the way, time. if anybody wants to hire Silky in New York City, she's available and ready to Wait. fucking go. I, I'm available and ready to fucking go. Yes, but remember, I'm a thousandaire, not a hundredaire. You, you understand what that means? And ready to fucking mean? go. And ready to, you know what that means, right? This is good no matter what we're talking about. Tell them bitches to, let me, 
me tell you something, you little skeezer sluts. <laughs> That's how I talk when I'm drunk. <laughs> Bitch, where's the Chicago? Okay, there you go. <laughs> That's really why I stayed up here, because I said it. That's why a big shot. Yes, this is a shot. Don't worry about what Miss Silky do. Okay. That's a pint. That's a pint glass. Yes, okay. it is. Silky. You want me to do it with no hands? You want to do it with no hands, bitch? Look, Ma, no hands. What does that mean? You put your shot down and pick it up with your mouth. No, this is my shot. You put your shot down and pick the whole cup up with your mouth. Oh, I don't want to do all that. Girl, you might as well. All right, well. raise your glass. You we love you. Could you do it? Raise your drinks, Would you raise do it your with glasses? me? Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers to me. Friends forever. We shall be. And if any moment we disagree, fuck you. And cheers to me. Oh, Tyrone. Hi. Make some noise for Tyrone Let me tell you, Roscoe's. Tyrone. Yes. One I of know our every and host here. I know every black employee here, bitch. What's my name? Bitch, I saw you a wig years ago, caramel Did bitch. Yes. yes I don't forget bitches. Let me tell you, I don't forget y'all at all. I don't forget nobody, at period. Because you know why? Why? Because a drag queen named Christina Kelly, who's a very famous drag queen, she always said, when you on your way to the top, you always remember and speak to everybody. Because when you're on your way back down, you never know who you may Girl, run into. That's so real. So I remember everybody, bitch. And cheers to that. Yeah, ch cheers, bitch. Oh my God. I'm gonna get Georgie so drunk. She gonna come up here doing I don't a motherfucking need you Taylor to do that, But I do really <laughs> love you. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Give it up for Silky. <laughs> yeah. I am here for a week pet sitting. So if there's any young gentlemen that want to come over here and pretend like they're our children. <laughs> <laughs> Order me Uber Eats. That was a wrong comment to make. I'm trying Why? To... Did you listen to what you just said? I said pretend like the dogs are our children. I don't know. I... Anyway. You misunderstood you. what I said, bitch. Okay, I hate to cut this short, but I do have some questions. No. We can have now you guys you're cackle. fucking attacking me, bitch. Yes. Can Is everyone filming? Is everyone I feel filming? attacked. I, what did you fucking say to me, you bitch? Let me tell you something. I feel like I'm on season 11 again. Leave it alone. <laughs> Bitch, y'all gonna have me fighting again, you know? They didn't no. show that Silky, part. I'm getting on my knees. I love you so much. Oh, I Give love it up you for so. Silky. Give it up for <laughs> Give it up for Silky Nutmeg Ganache. <laughs> All right. We're gonna jump back in because we have some questions now that we heard that whole life story up there. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Everett. Hi, Everett. Awesome. I have a question for Thorgy. Who is the most delusional queen you've ever met? Delusional. Silky is certainly not delusional. She knows exactly what that mission is and guaranteed in the next coming weeks you're going to see her at Roscoe's for wanting a gig. And I'm going to book you in New York for just saying it out loud. You want to work? Bring me to... I've always said this to all the girls. I said, listen, I've worked for 20... I've been doing the drag for 20 fucking years. Come on, bitch. Thank Let's you. Go. And I always say, come to New York, and when I'm not there, I'll hook up all the girls in New York City. You want to work in New York City? Call me. Please work with me. I love you so much, and I love you for showing up and going, I want to work, and I actually believe you. Fucking come to New York. Let's tear it apart, bitch. Ah, and New York would love you. I just didn't know you wanted to come there. Now I know. Let's talk after the show. But let me answer my big, big fan questions because I'm a big star, Silky. Shush. So what was your question again? Um, who's the most delusional entertainer, drag queen you've ever you met? You like the way I just spun that? That was good. That was good. What was the question? The most delusional drag entertainer you've met? Everett, Everett. Ah! I just, shut up. I'm pretty delusional. From your season, let's go from either of your seasons. Thank eight, you. Eight, I'm like eight ooh. or All Stars three. Valentina wasn't on either of those. We love Nasha here. Shut up. Oh, <laughs> see now, see I drink a lot, but now my brain is like, don't say that out loud. Because it really is about love of the sisters and all that, but also it is also kind of about 
Talking shit a little bit. No, which which one of your sisters like lives See, the best? Now fantasy? all I'm thinking about is Valentina. <laughs> but she's lovely, <laughs> sexy, polished, very cool, delusional, like you've never met in your life. And I went, "Hi, I'm Thorgy. I'm old school. I'm Long Island." So I go like this, and she goes, "Oh no, I don't touch hands." <laughs> You love that? I, can I ask I you a live, question? If I came up to you and I said, <laughs> "See, but see, <laughs> but so I, I live." If for I a went, I'm Thorgy, yeah. but it was something about Valentina she was like, Ew. that I don't treat you like a princess. Yeah, I just wanted her to like. It was weird, like a like, person. Yeah, a person, yeah. and she was like, "Oh no, 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 no!" Oh really? No. I love that. And I went. Ew, you won't even meet me halfway. Huh? If she met me like this, I would have went, oh, you want to be treated? I'll kiss your fucking hand. <laughs> I'll suck your fucking penis. I don't give a shit. I'll give you all the red roses you want in your dressing room, <laughs> which M&Ms, we've all heard M&Ms, about. M&Ms, M&Ms, yes. So the uh, most delusional is Valentina, but <laughs> only because you said it because you just Correct. Drank it. Whatever, I probably would have said somebody else, but I can't say it now. What's All the next right. question? We have another question over here from one of our patient viewers. Hi, I'm Perry. My question's for Denali. Hi. Um, I could not tell by your facial expressions. How do you feel about um, Ross Matthews' jokes? Oh. Um... You know, obviously everybody knows that I can't hide anything on my face as per episode one of RuPaul's Drag Race season 13. <laughs> right in the camera. Um, <laughs> or any episode thus far. Yeah, literally at all. I don't know. It's just the same formula. It's like, oh, yo, we love your little butthole. Like, I don't know. It's just, you know, it's the same. So I'd love to, like, switch things up a bit, make things a bit more current, more funny. Not, not, and not, like, boomer funny, like, funny funny. You know what I'm saying? No Sade, but truly, it's just kind of like always the same for RuPaul to be like, oh, LGBTQ, what? You know? Did not, I don't know? What would be the best question that RuPaul would ask one of the contestants? Oh, uh, that is an interesting question. Um, probably like, have you ever thrown a bag of shit out of a bus before? <laughs> I think that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Bitch, that's good. <laughs> Thank you for that. Sorry about my face. <laughs> we have another question over here. Hi, my question's for Denali. Hi. You look stunning, first no, of all. You look stunning. Thank you. Um, so when you realized you had to like lip sync and figure skate, oh, what was going through your head? I used to figure skate like a long time ago. A long but, time ago. Yeah, and I could barely walk in those shits. <laughs> so what was going through your head? I was so mad because I was like, this is what I do, and I am literally don't want to be seen on Drag Race ever being like um, locked in something that I can't fully showcase my abilities, you know, whatever. But um, I was just mad because, like, <laughs> day one of Drag Race, all we had on us was what we had on us. We had no baggage, no anything. We didn't move into the workroom until, like, episode three or four. Um so I couldn't change into anything else and everyone was like, yeah, that was a messy lip sync. She was like, her dress was falling and she was, I was like, bitch, I want you to put yourself in full cock and ball drag and then put some ice skates on. Rhinestone ice skates. And then go lip sync against La La Rie to the Pussycat Dolls. <laughs> in a dress that is a, f- <laughs> an, a photographic entrance dress, not a lip sync outfit. And honestly, I think I did pretty fucking well. You did, absolutely. <laughs> so all I have to say is sorry about your floors, but that's <laughs> your fault for not telling me shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I got this a bathroom break This suddenly. can't turn into what it was, okay. Oh, I just want to say to Denali, you read me down on the pit stop. Oh, I did. About my lip syncs, but guess what? I was in the same situation you were in, baby. <laughs> you really were. So no excuses, like you told me. You are so right. <laughs> I can't with you. I cannot. You no excuses. You should pay for that. <laughs> All right, here we go. What's your name? Love you, girl. I am Javier from Colombia. 
Hola, Colombia. Hi, Denali. Hi. I wanted to ask you, how was your experience in Colombia? I And if you want to send a message to Colombian fans. Oh. Love you so much. Wait, did you perform in Colombia? I did in Bogota. It was so fun. Yeah, I was there in the spring. It was amazing. We needed, like, security. I was with Manila Luzon, who is an incredible performer. She is literally incredible. Um, it was amazing. The fans there are just insane. And the stage was crazy, and I just you will if you if you ever want to feel like an absolute megastar, it's South America, just always, and Colombia and Brazil is just like so good. So I love you too. Y les quiero a todos mis amigos en Colombia. Muchas gracias para todo. Y quiero visitar otra vez. Les quiero. I love you guys. <laughs> yeah. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Hamburguesa. <laughs> And speaking of Manila, she just um, helped us premiere the season premiere of Drag Race Philippines, which Jiggly Caliente is a judge on. We have, I think, 14 new competitors. Yes. Bridget Dean is on there, Silhouette. Gigi, yes. So many entertainers. Gigi's visited uh, Chicago. She's Yee. lived here for a while. Yeah, she's amazing. So yeah, if y'all get the opportunity, go check that out. Um, you'll enjoy it. Yeah, it's sickening. Okay, we have a question here. Let's go. Hi, Thorgy. Hi! I have a question for you. Hold on, before you say this, this is Bahana. <laughs> Bahana has been supporting everything I did. She's the one getting you drunk. <laughs> yes. Well, she did buy me a shot of Maker's Mark. Hey. But I do want to say, Bahana is an amazing human being <laughs> on this planet and always comes out and always supports us for years and years, and I love you very much. What's your fucking question, bitch? My fucking question, bitch, is what? That's my what? What? That's my question. What? Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, I can, Thank you. She knew. That's, That's all you need okay. to say. So, uh, Pheromone takes that bag. Oh my God. No, but I'm serious. Let me finish this. <laughs> she goes. They don't let us shit in the bags. And she goes, I always like being that one homeless girl who only had like one stain on her sweater. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And she goes, and then she took that bag and she goes, here we go. And she opened up that door and threw out her shit. In the window, or out the window. In front of me. Okay. We have to conclude this story, this whole line of stories. Uh -huh. Because it was funny. Now it's belaboring a point. <laughs> and it was a lot of shit at that window. And that bag was so fucking big <laughs> and so fucking puffed out with shit. <laughs> and then look at Pheromone, who fell on All Stars. Oh, <laughs> and silence. Thank you and goodbye. All right, listen, thank well, you. And that was it. Why? There it is. And speaking of bags of shit, Denali, how was Lala Ree's bag look on season 13? <laughs> it was iconic and it spurred a million and a half twink white Halloween costumes. So say what you want about it, but it's iconic and she is forever an icon. It was the first um, golden boot, right? It was the first golden yes. boot award and truly we're still talking about it. Who's so. the current reigning golden boot holder? Maddie. Maddie, what was it for? Oh, yeah, their oh, country the pumpkin. Oh, the patchwork. Child. Yeah, mm. that was really rough. <laughs> okay, on looks, what were some of y'all favorite looks from your season of Drag Race? Ooh, good question. Stevie Nicks. Um. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> She came to read today. <laughs> you know, I, I never want to leave. I don't give a shit. I really don't. Um, Let me think of it also, more. my Stevie Nicks was pretty good. It actually really, it really fucking was. was. With look. Aesthetically, yes, down. Down, down, down. Actually, performance was also good. But like you said, yeah, the production, it was very what they right. did with Katya's Princess Diana. Yeah, great. I didn't, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. You agree. Love that. <laughs> Party. Wait, did not I go? Yeah. Let me think about this. Oh, my God. Uh, off the top of my head, Got Mixed Finale gown. Like, are you kidding me? That yeah, was just like yeah, yeah, yeah. Next level, otherworldly. Um, well, that's sweet. I meant yourself. But oh, 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 <laughs> of our own? Yeah. Oh, oh. 
I love my what favorite. you're wearing right now. I think this is, I love this. Thanks. This is so cool. Thanks. I've seen it in pictures, but it looks really awesome in person. Oh, thank you. My drag sister made it. Her name's Paloma. She's incredible. Ah, yeah. okay. Stand the House of Fox, Camilla okay, Fox. Okay, I will actually say this. I love when we did like the Madonna Rama challenge on Ooh, season yeah. eight. Come on, okay. It became like a Madonna yeah. gate. But all the girls did this. It was, uh, what was it? It was me, Naomi Smalls. It Kim was Chi. Kim Chi. Derek. It was Derek Berry. Keep going, keep going. There was Ooh. more. Oh, Layla McQueen. I heard if two, she two eliminated get people eliminated, had eliminated, yeah. she also had a kimono. There would have been six altogether. So it was kimono don't. It was kimono gate. It was kimono everything. But I kind of liked all the kimonos that were. They were all kind of fierce, yeah. though. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, it was a, a different anyway, time. Anyway, I got eliminated <laughs> from that season. <laughs> Mine was my chandelier look, period. Oh, my the God. Okay, yes. Very so I, cool. Very <laughs> cool. <laughs> that was sickening see you, seeing you bring that to the TV because I got to see you when you competed in an all-stars competition yeah, or crash landing, and she won that shit with that, and I was just like, yes, yeah. Yeah, when we got that prompt, I was like, oh, I'll just. Make it bigger. This is it. This is the one yeah. I'm bringing. Did exactly. you, um, was that the exact one that you wore for the. Oh, God, no. God, okay. no. I made mine for that competition at Berlin, and it was just like hand done and very shitty. Um, but Joshua Naponte redid it as just like that amazing moment. So, yeah, that was probably my favorite. Yeah. Or my cactus, probably. Yeah. Yes. Fierce. All right. Fierce. Do we have Fierce any other cactus. questions in the audience? <clears throat> no. All right. Well, next week, Slime. we want to let you know. That we will be joining us. Um, we have some girls from Canada's Drag Race joining us. Oh my Jesus! Uh, so I do know that Fierce Delicious is going to be here, <gasps> and Word. Vivian Vanderpuss, both from season three, and Jada, Jada Shada Hudson. Yeah, will also be joining so us. Those three gals will be here. It'll be a lot of fun. If you haven't watched Canada. Catch, oh, you okay, boo? My shoe got okay. cut. She's good. Make sure you guys um, catch a couple episodes so you get familiar with the gals when you come join us next week. But I want you guys to make some noise for our very special guest tonight. Woo! Give it up for Denali! Mm, pee pee poo poo. And keep it going for the Thorgis. Thorgy Thor. Ah! Thorgy will be taking mustard shots in the back, waiting for the performance here at 10.30. Joined by Denali, Batty Davis, and myself. Um, give it up for my co-host, Batty Davis. Yes! Oh, yeah, thank you for the birthday wishes. And it wishes. was her birthday this week. Everyone say yeah, happy birthday, guys. Batty. Thank you. It's your birthday. She's 21. I'm officially old. Oh, You're welcome. Classic is the uh -huh. term. And please. 30 is all. Oh. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Make some noise for my co-host, Caramel DeVille. Yeah. Work, we, diva. we will be here next week doing the same shit, the same place, with the same face. So make sure you guys come and join us. We love you guys. Stick around, and we'll see you guys at 1030 for our show. Ciao, Roscoe's. Bye, YouTube. Bye. Dorji, wait, bye.